Food for thought today we're going to be looking at is the grey market a good thing? So today, watch fans, we're going to be looking at is the grey market a good thing? Now, personally, I think the grey market is great for watches. I think it keeps the price in your watch. I think it protects the value of your watch because there is two market prices. There's the retail market price and there is the grey market price. Now the grey market seems to be the governing price for most of these watches. If you notice, Rolex are adjusting their prices to sort of try and compare themselves to the grey market or keep up or sort of make some of their watches price them out of the grey market. So Rolex are watching the grey market. They're following it very closely. Without the grey market, we're going to be stuck in a place where none of us can attain these watches. Rolex are going to be monopolising the market and they're going to be forcing people to buy things they don't want to buy, increase their spend and be begging them for these watches. The watch is going to become unattainable and that is then going to force people to go find different things. They're going to be going to different brands. People are going to give up on Rolex. The grey market gives us all access to Rolex. It gives everybody a chance to buy a model that they want. It gives them a chance to use and spend their money, which is as good as anybody else is, on the items that they desire. The grey market also lets us get hold of some watches that, even if we were being sold watches from an AD, we would not be able to access. Now, some of the Rolex models, never in a million years would they sell them to me. Would I be somebody that they would sell a Platinum Daytona to? I very much doubt. But on the grey market, I have got the same buying opportunity. All I need to do is turn up with my money. So I think with the current market correction, I think the grey market is a great place at the moment for watch buyers. I think, like I said, it's giving you access to them. It's letting you get watches at a premium, but a price that is fair. The premium is hidden with Rolex ADs. You're buying watches you don't necessarily want. You're being forced to increase your spend. So even though you might get the Rolex Sports model for, say, a sub round of £8,650, you might have spent £12,000 at that AD to get the call for that sub -mariner. So if you went to the grey market and you picked up a sub between £10,000 and £13,000, are you really any better off getting them from the AD? No. You're getting the watch you want and also I would say the customer service, i say the aftercare and I would say if you went back there to sell that watch you would get much better service. So that's my food for thought today on why the grey market is so important in the watch industry.